When I was in year seven, I struggled a lot with math. I actually ended up failing the end of year math test that my school made us do. I got less than 50% on a test where the hardest question was adding up fractions. But after using some tips from my teachers and also some personal experience, I ended up getting a nine in GCSE math and I'm currently predicted an A star in A level math. So if you're currently struggling with GCSE math, then know that I was in your position. And if you take in some of the tips that I'm gonna share today, know that you can boost up your grade even in a couple of weeks. The first thing you need to take into consideration is the why. Why do you need to get a high grade in math? When I was young, I understood that math is probably the most important subject that we study at school. Now knowing this, I made it a goal to become better at math. But having just a goal is not enough. You need to know how you're gonna achieve said goal. Which leads me onto my second piece of advice, which is learn how to learn. I'm always watching videos on the best studying techniques and the most efficient ones, whether it's related to math or not because I'm always trying to find the optimal studying technique. As someone who wants to get better at math, you need to always learn the best studying techniques when it comes to learning math. And from my experience, the thing that's gonna give you the most bang for your buck when it comes to studying for math is just practicing questions. You need to know that when you approach a question, you've probably been taught all of the knowledge needed to answer that question. The part where most of the people lose marks is not being able to identify how to use their knowledge instead of just not having the knowledge to answer the question. Let's compare the average student that's on a 9 and the average student that's on a 5. They both probably have the quadratic formula memorized. They both know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared and so on. Now the only difference between them is that the grade 9 student is able to identify how to use the knowledge he's learned while the grade 5 student can't. So if you want to get better at math, if you want to get that 8 or 9, you need to be able to identify when to implement your knowledge. You can only learn that by practicing. Practice as much as you can. From 90 to 95% of your time when you study for math, you need to be just practicing questions. And the rest of the time, you need to be watching videos or reading over your notes to learn where you went wrong when you were answering a question. If you still think that you have a lack of knowledge and that practicing isn't really going to help, maybe you have a bad teacher or maybe you just need to start paying attention in class. If you have a bad teacher, don't worry, there's a lot of stuff you could do. You could ask a friend for help or you could ask another teacher in the school or you could invest into a tutor. Another reason you could be struggling with math is Maybe you just make a lot of dumb, silly mistakes. To this day, I still lose marks over the dumbest things. For example, right now I'm in year 13 and two days ago I was doing a math test. It was a really hard question and part of the question was drawing a graph. I got all of the hard stuff correct, but guess where I messed up? Instead of having the x-axis here and the y-axis here, I flipped them for some reason. Now listen, these mistakes happen to everyone, but we could still reduce them. When you do a question, whether it's in a test or when you're just practicing, write down every step you do. Clearly, a mistake that I used to always do is that when I write numbers, I used to write them quickly and they weren't that clear. So, a couple of steps later when I needed to use that same number, I would look back and I wouldn't be able to read it. I would read the number wrong and I would use that wrong number in my calculations. I did everything right, but my answer was still incorrect. You need to write down every step you take when doing a question. And before moving on to the next step, you need to look back at that step you just did read it and make sure it makes sense. Make sure that you've used all the correct values and formulas and you didn't mess anything up. I know this is gonna take longer, but it's so worth it. Only two or three silly mistakes can cost you a whole grade, so you need to start avoiding them. Figure out the scenarios where you would make silly mistakes and then pay attention the next time you're in that scenario. For example, I knew a guy that when he types into his calculator, he would type way too quickly, which means that he sometimes types a number wrong into his calculator and then press equals without realizing that it's wrong. So then the answer he gets is completely wrong. So if that's you, you need to start paying attention when you type into a calculator, for example. And now my final tip, don't let other people in your class affect your confidence. It's happened to me so many times where there's always someone who's answering all the questions in class right, showing off his skills, all that stuff, and making me think that my level in math is nowhere near his. But when it comes to the actual test, I end up getting higher than him. Now there's a name for this and I use it often. It's called the imposter syndrome. Embrace it and don't let it affect you. Don't make your mindset, no, this is too hard. I'm not set out for this. I'm just not a mathematical person. Make it, wow, this is a challenge, but bring it on. 